Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Pradeep Kumar from Device Bar. In this video, we will share the possible solutions to remove the Samsung Smart TV ads, the Smart Hub menu advertisements which we can see here. So let's check it out. Just to be clear, this video is not about blocking ads while watching videos on other apps. This is just to remove the ads inside the Samsung Smart TV menu like we can see on the screen here to be honest this is really annoying because i mean why should we have advertisements inside tv settings this may also make our samsung smart tv's performance a bit dull so we will see the possible solutions to fix this like they even have video ads i don't know why we have to take our samsung smart tv remote and go to settings select that we are using the 2020 Samsung Smart TV model but these tips may be applicable for newer models too. The user interface for doing all this might change in the future. If that happens, please let us know in the comments. We will share the updated steps for this. So after going to the settings, we just have to go to terms and privacy here. So this option may also be available under support. So now here go to terms and privacy and here choose interest based advertisements service privacy notice select that it will load a new pop up and here we have to uncheck this option so we will disable this we have to uncheck this option and confirm and now go down choose online remote management service terms and conditions select that and we have to uncheck this as well and now go to reset PSID select that and reset this too. So all these uh, options may help with disabling targeted advertisements. Now we have to go to the settings again. Select that and now go to general and here go to smart features. So here we have to disable auto run smart hub just select this and it will be disabled and we can keep this one enabled if we want that's all now we are going to do the main thing which is changing the dns details of our samsung smart tv we have to go to settings again select that go to general then go to network here go to network status select that and here we have to choose ip settings so this is the page where we are going to make the changes we are going to use AdGod's DNS server details here. AdGod is a pretty popular and secure ad blocker service. So we are going to DNS settings here and select this and choose this enter manually option. So this is the DNS server address we need to enter. Since we already configured AdGod, we are getting this by default. So we just have to select this and enter 94. 140 15 and 15 so we just have to enter these details i'll share them in the description as well we can also replace the last two 15s with 14s both should work and after configuring this go to done and choose ok we can also check the server connection if it is working properly it's fine this should not affect our usual internet speed or anything. We didn't face anything in the, in the past few weeks. But if you face any such issues after changing this, then you can uh, go back to network status, IP, IP settings, go to this uh, DNS uh, setting and choose this get automatically option. This should bring back the default settings. Now let's optimize our TV as well. We can go to settings go to support go to device care and start device care it will just do all these activities which will make our tv give better performance that's all now we are going to turn off our tv and do a cold reboot or a soft reset so we just have to turn off the tv and unplug the power cord from the power outlet then wait for around 30 seconds we will do this and get back to you now we are going to turn on the tv after plugging the power cord so we just have to wait for some time then press the home button 
we will get this without the ad but the thing is usually when we when we open it for the first time we can see a small block of ad here but after that we won't get that ad as you can see there is no ad usually configuring this for the first time when we turn on the tv we might get a small block of ad here but uh, after a few seconds it will just vanish no advertisements so yeah that's all these are the steps to almost remove our samsung smart tv smart tub menu advertisements thanks for watching this video do kindly share your questions and thoughts in the comment section please do subscribe if you find this video helpful have a wonderful day and night